Now we're going to talk about a different type of special product, and it's called the difference of squares. Sometimes I'll say the difference of two squares. Um, and so a unique thing happens when you have a binomial like a plus b, and then you multiply it times a minus b, something unique happens. a times a is a squared, and then a times a negative b is negative ab, and then b times a is positive ab, and then b times a negative b is negative b squared. But what happens is those middle terms, they drop out, because you've got negative ab and plus ab, those make zero. So you just get a squared minus b squared. So one of the reasons I like difference of squares is they're pretty easy to spot, because you only have two terms, okay? So we're looking for something in this form, a squared minus b squared. So here we have one, example five. You have, so we're looking to put it in this form, a squared minus b squared. So you've got 121m squared. I can write that as 11m squared, okay? So this is going to be like my a. Now it does have to be subtraction, so it's called the difference of squares. Sometimes I'll try to fool you and throw a plus in, but it has to be subtraction. And then the last term, that has to be written as a square as well, but we can write 1 as 1 squared. So my b is going to be 1. So I have my a and I have my b. It fits the form a squared minus b squared, and it's going to factor into 1 will be a plus b, and the other will be a minus b. I usually put the plus 1 first, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so in my answer, oops, sorry about that. In my answer, I'm going to have a, which is 11m, plus b, which is 1, and then 11m minus 1. And you can check that with FOIL, but that's how it's going to factor. So you get 1 with a plus and 1 with a minus. All right? So these are pretty fun. In the next video, I'm going to show you, give you a list of perfect squares, because you're going to have to recognize those, both for the perfect square trinomials and the difference of squares. So that will help you.